I am at the entrance of a little known park in Nevada called Valley of Fire. It's an easy one hour drive from Las Vegas and if you want to do a day trip or half day trip it's the way to go. I highly recommend this. It's interesting to see, quite unique and easy to get to and easy to uh, drive around and walk around. So just as you get through the entrance, a couple miles down there is a first spot where most of the people stop. The reason why is the beehives. What is that? Well, that is unusual sandstone formations eroded by wind and water and you can even camp there around it and as you can see people walking around admiring various rock formations and spending some time there i've seen quite a few parks but i've never seen anything like this it's really really unique and as the information here says the beehives not only demonstrate the unique design that can be created by nature but is an excellent representation of geologic cross bedding those are the grooved lines going in different directions the layers or beds represent different layers of silt that are deposited at different times. The beds indicate the angle the wind or water was moving at the time the material was deposited. Cross bedding is very common in sand dunes, beach deposits and river sediments. And people really do like to stay there. On the way we also stopped at the ranger station, uh, nothing super exciting but uh, you can get map and some basic information there or buy some memorabilia or trinkets, whatever. Driving through is really awesome because every few miles you see different rock formations and different colors. The color, the reddish color is caused by minerals and mostly by iron in the soil and the rocks. And there are quite a few places you can visit in the park. I did not visit all of them but I picked some that sounded interesting. So the first step I will make is at the Rainbow Vista. But first I want to see those bighorn sheep here. Look what they are eating. There is no grass so they just munch on, on the bushes and whatever grows here. And it looks like they are quite used to people they let me get uh, quite close and after the sheep stop i'll stop at rainbow vista and this is a huge and beautiful formation of red stones what they are saying here is you are looking across 150 million years of time the great maze of canyons domes towers ridges and valleys before you are carved from sand deposited during the time when dinosaurs walked the earth. If I'm not mistaken, it was like 150 million years ago. Quite a long time. And the next stop will be Fire Canyon. What they say about it is that in this region, forces within the earth have been powerful enough to cause thousands of feet of surface rock to fold, break and in some areas push several miles from their original location. Today erosion has worn away the top 
of one great fold, exposing the sharply angled layers of rock and creating numerous small canyons. So that's certainly a very nice and interesting view to see what the force of nature can do with the environment. And the colors are just amazing. The different layers have different colors and it calls uh, and it really calls people's attention no doubt about that a lot of people stop here relatively speaking the park is not very much visited compared to national parks and whatnot but i would say quite a few people do come and enjoy the views and you can enjoy various various views and vista point just from the road you don't necessarily have to hike for hours to get a good view of something interesting and the last part of the trip takes us to the north of the park which is just about six miles from the Ranger Station and the area is called White Domes Area and it's another spectacular place to visit and what they say about this the color differences the Aztec sandstone derives its characteristic red color from the iron oxide in the rock. How the iron got into the rock is subject of debate among geologists. Some theorize that it leached downward to the porous sandstone from overlaying rock layers. Others note that some areas in the upper levels of the sandstone are white without iron oxide. They suggest that the white domes and other areas in the park indicate that the rock has been stained from the bottom of water circulating minerals from the iron rich layers found in the Aztec formation. And erosion over thousands of years has weathered and loosened sand grains from the sandstone rock forming modern dunes and in many areas of valley of fire. So now we are arriving at the northernmost point of the park, White Dunes, and you can see a lot of people, or quite a few I should say, had the same idea. And they are climbing around the rocks. There are two um trails around the rock and it's very picturesque and valley of fire goes hollywood over the years valley of fire has become a very popular area for professional filmmakers featured in hundreds of commercials valley of fire can also be seen in music videos educational films and following new movies Hmm. The Good Son, Breakdown, Star Trek, Beast Master, When Fools Rush In, A Million Years BC, Stephen King's The Stand, Kill Me Again, Fatherhood, The Professionals. Well, I think I saw several of those movies, but I don't remember anything about them. It just shows that I didn't really watch that carefully so we are getting near the end of the trip i hope you enjoyed the scenery enjoyed the sights and i hope you will watch the next time have a good day and goodbye